an irrigating, aspirating and ultrasonically vibrated element confined in the anterior chamber of the eye, such as a phaco tip, surely has an impact in the nearby environment. Yet little is known about the intricate details of the fluidic events that take place while using the latest technologies for phaco emulsification. Recent modalities such as torsional phaco as well as the development of new research tools are motivating to improve our understanding about the fluidics of phaco. This film is aimed to present our latest work about the microfluidic events occurring in the anterior chamber when using phaco probes operated in torsional and in longitudinal modalities. Essentially, it covers fluid displacement, cavitation and tissue tip interaction and has been performed in cooperation with a fluidics expert, Professor Klaus Dieter All. In our research, and for the first time in ophthalmology, we have incorporated particle image velocimetry, or PIV. This technique uses vector analysis of microscopic spheres incorporated into the fluid to provide a clear understanding of fluid behavior, including laminar and turbulent flow patterns. Exciting field work was performed at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore using a highly sophisticated electro-optical setting and two photon high-speed video cameras. With this technique, and also for the first time, we could resolve elements occurring within a single cycle of motion of the FACO tip. Flow speed could be determined by tracking particles across video frames using calipers and knowing frame rate and camera pixel size for the set magnification. Using this method, a closed IA system operated at 20 cc per minute produced two diverging irrigation streams with speeds up to 0.9 meters per second that reached far away from the tip infusion ports. These fluid streams were directed to each side of the FACO tip at an angle of 30 degrees. Some repulsive effect could be expected for these streams regarding lens fragments. At the same time, the tip aspiration port removed an equal volume of 20 cc per minute with maximum speeds of only 0.25 meters per second. The difference explained by the different cross sections of the irrigation and aspiration paths. Incorporation of ultrasound did not interfere with the flow pattern of irrigation and aspiration at low US powers. High ultrasonic powers introduced streaming forces with different footprints for longitudinal and torsional phaco. When the FACO tip was driven in longitudinal mode at US power above 90%, a turbulent stream of fluid appeared in front of the tip, moving in the opposite direction of aspiration. Flow speed reached a velocity about 1.9 meters per second, two times the speed of the irrigation port streams. Some repulsive effect could be attributed to this stream for being opposed to the direction of aspiration. Torsional activation of the FACO tip at low US power also did not disturb the flow pattern of irrigation and aspiration. Increasing torsional power above 80% produced fluid streaming, but this time directed to the rear portion of the FACO probe. Maximum flow speed was about 1.9 meters per second, similar to longitudinal. An attracting effect could be attributed to this stream for cooperating in the same direction of aspiration. An interesting finding could be made regarding cavitation. Using recording speeds above 500,000 frames per second revealed that collapsing cavitation bubbles give birth to clouds of miniature bubbles that follow the ultrasound-induced streams of fluid previously described. These micron-sized bubbles do not behave like normal cavitation bubbles as they are stable and do not collapse. It is highly probable that these new bubbles represent a degassing effect of ultrasound, extracting diluted gases from the circulating fluid. With torsional, these microbubbles detach from the sides of the tip and travel backwards following the characteristic stream induced by torsional ultrasound. These newly described microbubbles are the explanation to the optical disturbance observed in front of FACO tips when operated longitudinally at high power, and of a similar disturbance observed proximally when the tip is operated in torsional mode at high power. Interested in differentiating cavitation produced by torsional and by longitudinal FACO, we recorded cavitation at different power settings using both modalities. We used a line scan technique to detect cavitation while power was increased. Longitudinal FACO showed steady appearance of cavitation above 60% US power, while torsional FACO did so above 80%. 
with cavitation steadily activated using maximum power, we increased ambient pressure to observe differences in the cavitation footprint. Cavitation from longitudinal phaco gradually decreased with increasing pressure, and bubble formation was turned off at a pressure above one bar. Surprisingly, cavitation from torsional was totally inhibited, with only a slight increase in pressure. Minimal variation in pressure around a threshold switched cavitation on and off repeatedly. This fragile condition of cavitation was exclusive of the torsional modality. High-speed video recordings performed using human cataract fragments strongly supported the clinically observed differences regarding tip tissue interaction for torsional and longitudinal phaco. Repulsion was evident with longitudinal, with the cataract piece bouncing repeatedly in front of the phaco tip. This phenomenon leads to reduced efficiency, but also the less than perfect occlusion increases fluid circulation, another element that affects surgical outcome. Oppositely, torsional motion promoted settling of the cataract fragments, steadily occluding the phaco tip. Lateral ultrasound appeared to permanently sustain occlusion until the fragment was eroded enough to reposition. Cavitation bubbles could be observed at high US power near the tip cataract junction for both longitudinal and torsional modalities, but their presence did not suggest a role in the emulsification process that seemed to be mechanic in nature. This mechanic cutting effect could also be supported by microscopic analysis of the milky fluid sometimes observed with hard cataracts. This fluid contains what appears to be sharply cut lens fibers typical of a mechanic cutting effect. High-speed video analysis of lens fragmentation appears to correlate well with these microscopic findings. Irrigation streams are described, eventually adding a weak repulsive force. US streaming from high-power longitudinal could also contribute to repulsion. The streaming of high-power torsional could provide a weak attractive force. Optical disturbances in the nearby of vibrated tips could be explained by the discovery of microbubbles. Cavitation from torsional can be easily inhibited by pressure with an on-off response. Sharply cut lens fibers support a mechanical cutting effect for phaco. Open up your minds and see like me Open up your plans and damn you're free I Look into your heart and you will find Love, 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 love and Listen to the music of the moment people dance and sing We're just one big family And it's our God-forsaken right to be Love, 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 love 